Hello, good morning. I am Okocha Happy Marcel and this is my channel. Yes, in 1997, the month of April, this day newspaper published the statement that the presidential candidate of All Progressive Congress, Mr. Bola Metinumbu, made. He said, I do not believe in one Nigeria. I do not believe in one Nigeria. Now, the question is, somebody that said some years ago that he did not believe in one Nigeria, what happens that today he's running for the office of the president? What happens to the ideas of him not believing in one Nigeria some years ago? Or are they being motivated by the treasury of the nation? Are they being motivated by the money that they are going to loot? Do they really have the interest of Nigeria at heart? Do their children go to school in Nigeria? When ASU is on strike, do they pay attention to the strike? If they believed in one Nigeria, they could have built a good hospital where they will be taking their treatment in Nigeria. If they believe in one Nigeria, somebody like Tinumbu, Buhari and others will not be flying abroad and be taking their treatments abroad because they knew that there is no good medical care in Nigeria. If they believe in one Nigeria, they will not be sending their children abroad to go to school consistently. Yes, there is nothing wrong in going to abroad for a medical treatment. There is nothing wrong going to school abroad for medical treatment. But when it is consistent, when it becomes a culture, it shows something that people do not believe where they came from, especially when it come, it has to be with number one citizen of a country, a president of a country, and people who are in the affairs of leadership. It shows they do not believe in one Nigeria. Today is Tuesday, April 4th, and all news travel back in the time, April 1997, when the current national leader of All Progressive Congress APC, Bonda Ahmed Tinumbu, and he asserted that he does not believe in one Nigeria. I thought it is only Brafan people that do not believe in one Nigeria. Tinumbu, before Nigeria's return to democratic rule in 1999, began his political career in 1992. When he joined the Social Democratic Party, SDP, where he was a member of the People's Front faction led by Sheu Musa Yaradoa and made up of other politicals such as Omaru Musa Yaradoa, Tiku Abubaka, eh, Baba Ghana, Kinjibe, Rabiu Kwakwanso, Abdundahi, and Yu Sumaindi, and others. After the result of the June 12, 1993 presidential election were annulled, Tinubu became a founding member of the pro-democratic National Democratic Coalition, a group that mobilized support for the restoration of democracy and recognition of Moshud Abionda as a winner of the June 12 election. Following the seizure of power as military head of state of Nigeria, Sani Abacha, he went into exile in 1994 and returned to the country in 1998 after the death of the military dictator which ushered in the transition to the Fourth Nigerian Republic. In the run-up of the 1999 election, Bonda Tinumbu was a protege of Alliance for Democratic AD, leaders Abraham Adesanya and Ayo Adebanjo. He went on to win the AD primaries for the Lagos State Governorship election in defeating Fusha Williams and Wahab Dasumo, a former Minister of Works, and housing. In January 1999, he stood for the position of governor of Lagos State on the AD ticket and was elected. Twice he served as the number one citizen of Lagos State and has since been a colossal force in the Nigerian political terrain. A Disney newspaper publication of a past Tinumbu interview with Ayo Aruwondo, the president chief of staff to the chairman of a right group. Prince Ndoka Obegwena has now surfaced online with some social media commentaries questioning the patriotism of the 71-year-old Bonda Ahmed Tunumbu. Meanwhile, at the time of publishing this report, I cannot independently verify the authenticity of the publication.